In this video I want to show you how to set up your development environment to start these tutorials. So the first thing you want to do is download the IDE which includes a compiler and the editor. So you go to this website which I will be posting the link so you can just click on it in the description of the video. So once you get to this website click download software after that you want to open the software you just downloaded and you want to click on install IR embedded workbench <laughs> next you will be greeted with a register window if by accident you close that window then you can go to help license manager license get evaluation license and that will open this window again so in this window click the register button and that's going to open a website on your browser on that website you want to select code size limited and complete the registration form submit it after submission you will get a verification email with a link and when you click on that link you will get a license number that you can then put in this text box and complete the uh, registra registration process. So once we have installed the IDE, we need to install the CMSYS Texas Instrument header files. To do that, you want to go to this website, click the download button. You're going to have to make a Texas Instrument account, and but uh, these uh, header files are actually free, even though it says buy here so once you have downloaded that uh, software it's actually an installation program if you're running Windows Vista or Windows 7 or if double clicking on this uh, software that you just downloaded doesn't work you probably have to run it in compatibility mode and you do that by right clicking on the software going to properties in properties go to the compatibility tab select run this program in compatibility mode 4 and select Windows XP service pack 3 so now let's go ahead and see how to get started on setting up the IDE for the rest of the projects so go ahead and open IR embedded workbench go to file new workspace file safe workspace go to project create new project arm c main so make a folder where you want to save all your projects and then inside that folder make another folder where you want to save this specific project So now that we have created our project files, we need to configure the IDE to be used with your Stellaris or your Tiva C series launchpad board. To do that, you want to go to project options. In the options window, go to general options, target, select device. Click this icon here. Go to Texas Instruments and find your specific device so if you have the uh, let me see which one I have I actually have both launch pads so I have the TM4C 123G H6PM and I also have the uh, LX4F12 CH so just find the uh, microcontroller that you have 
you can see that in your uh, in your chip that's that's in the board of your launch pad so let me go to TM4C 123 so this is the one I have now go to your C and C++ compiler options select preprocessor so this is where we're going to add the include directories that we need for the uh, Texas Instrument libraries and also the uh, specific microcontroller libraries for IR. So go to this go to this path where you install your IDE. Copy this line. Paste it in here. Press enter to add another line. Go to your include folder for your Texas Instruments library. So this folder was created when uh, when we ran this program. So go ahead and also paste that line. Now go to your debugger option. Select TI Stellaris. In the download tab, select verify download and use flash loaders. Click the OK button. And just to check that the uh, paths were installed correctly, go ahead and include this folder. So even if you have the TM4C123GH6P and microcontroller this header file will also work since both microcontrollers are actually the same they just have a different name so now just to check that everything was installed correctly go to uh, go to project revealed all and it's gonna ask you to save your works workspace file so I'm just gonna save it in the same folder where I have my lesson file and I misspelled lesson so that should give you a total of zero warnings the last thing we want to do is we want to upload this code to the microcontroller to make sure that the drivers for the uh, for your board are configured correctly so once you have built the, uh, the code go ahead and click on download and debug So this is the download and debug mode, which means that we are running this code on your microcontroller. You can go ahead and end the debugging session by clicking the X. That's it for this video. We're ready to get started on the next lessons of this series. Thank you for watching.